Right, then we're back again, part five, day five. Um, that's five, so done probably four times, say, say about six, seven hours a day I've done for four days. So today, again, probably for six, seven hours. So it should really make really good ground today. Should be seeing it near and finished today, really, and rideable if you had a chain. But the only part I've not got is the chain, but I should be able to start it anyway. Um, so first things first this morning, I'm going to get the ignition barrel off and get to the locksmiths. Yeah, I had a count on this ignition barrel yesterday. It's got 10 wires. <laughs> so some of them are really easy, it's just, it's just hot wire, but yeah, I thought I'll just try and get the key. Just hope and pray it can actually give me one. And hopefully it'll fit <laughs> the uh, steering lock as well. But we will see. Ten wires in here, all covered in yellow paint and all sorts. Which was nothing to do with me. <laughs> Any more there. I think they're all they will all be colour coded. Yep. That's all them there. They all do seem to be colour coded. Thank God. Good old Honda making it easy for us. The pliers. Yeah, you can put a bit of force on the connector to pull it out. But obviously you don't want to be putting too much on. So you, your best. It won't come out with a bit of force. Get in there like that. Pull it out that way. One more. Yeah, it's not coming out anymore, is it? Oh, that's the light one. There you go. No numbers on it, unfortunately. I don't think. Oh, there is. <laughs> H89 should be able to get a key from that HF98 even or 90 was it 907 he can probably see better than me I'm going to go to the locksmith now right then I'm in the van I've just come out the locksmith and I have a key so look at this Ta -da. yes at that bit you see so turn it on oh it's on already so turn it on you can't pull it out so it's a good lock yeah pull it out obviously when it's off not when it's on i've got two made just got a spare hopefully it fits the steering lock as well look at the price price is uh 11 pound 40 for two keys absolute bargain that i'd say been brilliant <laughs> that yes <laughs> cannot wait to plug this in put a battery on it see if we get a spark let's go right just back and first things first of all i'm going to try and clean up this barrel because it's covered in yellow paint so just pour that on this is still those thinners always pour it on don't put the rag to the thinners because it can contaminate it and if you're going to paint something it can ruin your paint so for people who don't know about solid those thinners it's obviously using paint and it's very strong stuff. It's mixed with paint. This normally takes it off. Which it isn't really doing. I <laughs> thought it would do, to be honest. Well, it is. It is. It just needs to... A bit better. <laughs> it's probably acrylic, this paint in the... Uh spray cans which is a bit harder to get off with thinners if it is cellulose thinners come straight off cellulose paint it's coming off but yeah you get me drift <laughs> so there you go looking a bit cleaner now hey right 
just wired all the ignition up and that's on see if we get an ignition we need to light just plug the horn in can i get a horn no Oh, I can. Yay! <laughs> yes! <laughs> we have no neutral light. Right then, this is the biggie. Will it get a spark? <laughs> Ooh. Look like it, fortunately. Right, see if this magnet will come off. Just have a quick look at the points. It might just come off because it was off. <laughs> And I pushed it on, so sometimes it's just pushed them on, they're not been used, they do come off without the puller. <clears throat> yeah, it is, it's coming off. They look pretty good, look like brand new. I think he might have changed them. No sort of spark there or anything. Sometimes you get a bit of a spark. Hmm. Use it to be top dead centre. Oh, well opening. Ah. I'm sure you can see them there, they're flipping well, but well too big gap that. Flipping massive. So, yeah. See a mile away that. I don't know if you can see it, but I just realised my head torch has gone flat, must left it on. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'm presuming you can see that. I can't seem to put my phone torch on either, so because it's so the sun's out, it won't come on. See what I mean? You can see it moving there. Well, massive gap, never gonna run. So, yeah, we'll adjust that and uh, hopefully we might give it a bit of a clean as well. Because, yeah, it looks like there's a flood in here. Right, I've just set them 0 0.3. Fiddly. Right, I've just done 0 0.3 with feeler gauges and it's really hard to film it, but so, uh, yeah, it's done anyway. So let's just check for a spark. Right, well, I couldn't see a spark. Um, I put my hand on the plug. It's only six volts, but I'm not going to get that bad zap. I did get a bit of a zap. So even though I couldn't see the spark, I thought I'm just going to try it. I'm just going to put some fuel in, just pinch that rubber bike, and uh, I'm just try it. Just check for leaks as well. It's on, off. The, the carburetor is. It shouldn't leak. This will probably get it to Scotland. This little bit of juice. Huh. Be full. Right, so I'll just put it on. Put it open. It's that quite a bit of fuel that. It'll be above the reserve. Just open the bottom of the car, see if it leaks. So I'm just going to wind the drainage screw out. 
see if you get anything. Yeah, get some it. Got some it. House full of petrol. Right, yeah. Oh, try and kick the thing. <laughs> right, chunks on full. Turn it on. It's on. Full show. Bit of revs, maybe. Turn show off. Did definitely nearly go then. Again. No revs. Oh my god. Oh, oh. Seems like no revs. Come on. I reserve. Half since the 1980s. It's not doing too bad, it doesn't sound great but <laughs>
need the air screw then and it just comes it out. Might be air screw adjustment. It's really like a bit of a sick pig. Pretty sure it's the carburetor that, so I might just go for a full strip down up on a clean on the carburetor. Probably should have done it anyway. But yeah, we'll have a look at it. <laughs> Touched it yet, yeah, but it seems to be getting better. <laughs> it has been hibernating for like 30 odd years. We've definitely got a neutral light. Right, I've just virtually stripped everything out of it. Every single jet, even the air screws, the tick over screws, everything. Uh, I've cleaned it on the bike on the bicarbonate soda soda blaster. See where I took all the screws out, and I'm now I'm going to ultrasonically clean it. Obviously, I've not touched that gasket. I want to save that, but I've cleaned it all in there, everywhere. I possibly can clean it. Has been cleaned, so it should be like brand new. Hopefully, then it'll run properly. I just realised I hadn't stripped it right down. Because this bit here had this little filter in there. So uh, it does look reasonably clean. There's also this in it, which I think is some sort of sediment trap. That fills with fuel. And then any sediment in the fuel gets trapped in there. And then obviously comes out. And goes down to the bottom of the floats. And then eventually through the jets. So I'm going to give that a good clean. But I don't think that's going to really affect it. I can't really see anything that's going to affect it. But... Yeah, sometimes it does work this. Give them a good clean through the ultrasonic and they just suddenly start working. So yeah, yeah, I'm gonna heat the water in the ultrasonic and uh, yeah, it won't be long. Whoa. So in it goes. Ultrasonic cleaning fluid, mixed with water. It's been used a few times. All that for this tiny car. <laughs> so yeah, just have to make sure that none of this metal cage is touching the sides, so can use electrolysis to clean it. Minutes 64 degrees, see it is just off the stove, didn't boil it. Lid off, right? It's ready anytime now. <laughs> Turn it off. 
First things first, get the airline on it. Cool it down more than anything. Get it back together. Right, the second attempt, what's it gonna run like now? <laughs> put the petrol pipes back on, put the airbox back on, tightened it all up, put the slider back in. Uh, yeah, it should be really, really clean. No, can't be anything wrong with that car now. Settings might be a bit out there because it did take the air screw out and the tick over screw, but I can soon set them. So, yeah, turned it on. Full choke again. It's a dry car, but it will, it will have filled up now. <laughs> right then it's the end of the day it's actually 11 p.m um absolutely knackered and um yeah never actually got it to run perfectly unfortunately it's a bit disappointing um but we can't be that carburetor now because honestly I, I clean that good and proper i'm pretty certain it's not that carburetor i went right through it works it out how it works and everything Made sure there's absolutely no blockages anywhere, but it's just not right. So it's it must be something to do because I wasn't I couldn't see a spark, but it was spark. It did actually start, which was sort of unusual. Some sort of weak spark or something like that. It's not a spark. It's it, it's just sparking a bit erratically, maybe something like that. Um, or it's, it's earthing a bit here and there. There's a wire earthing somewhere sometimes, but not earthing other times. I don't know because it, it's not revved once whatsoever the only other thing is maybe the cam could be out the timing could be out or something but i've looked at that about i've looked and looked and looked at it those today as far as i can see i'm absolutely sure that it's perfect that timing and i got it right anyway um because I've, I've been watching a few videos and all that sort of trying to work it out and it seems to be right you know once it once it goes around into compression stroke it's you, you can feel the 
like the, where I've set the valves, and it's a 0.05 millimeters, you know. Um, I'm, so I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not that, but you never know. It could be 180 degrees out. I don't. I'm not absolutely 100, 100 positive. I've never been all that good at timing, but um, I'm pretty sure it's that. I've checked the other engine as well and everything. It just seems absolutely identical. So it just cannot be that. It has to be something to do with the state of play, the points, something to do with the ignition. Um, can't be mechanical, can it? So, uh, but yeah, it's 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 not. The last task is April 1984, and I'll just show you here now. Um, so I'm presuming it's not been on the road since then, because it's definitely not been off-roaded, because if it's been off-roaded, they, they were ruined and knackered. Um, so it's probably just sat in garages ever since then, unless someone was getting about on it with no tax, but it does say not tax since 1984, like you can see. So uh, not done too bad. You know, I've got to be happy that I got the key. I'm happy that I got the... Uh, Got it started for starters. Got it started. It actually did start, but it was running like a sick pig. So yeah, but hopefully tomorrow. Like yeah, I was going to say that as well. Sometimes if you're feeling worn out and you've been doing it all day and you're just getting absolutely nowhere, you can't find the problem. Just go to bed, go and have a rest. Get up the next day, start it again. Sometimes you just you'll just find the problem within minutes, and you just like got a fresh head on your shoulders. I've done it so many times, and you just like really hell, and you just sort it instantly. It does happen, you know. Sometimes when you've just been overthinking all day and doing that, and you're worn out, and you, you just make start making silly mistakes, and you don't you don't get it sorted. Just just wake up fresh and get it sorted. So that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, thank you for watching. Um, yeah, there'll be a part uh, six coming soon. So uh, yeah, I'll get that on, and hopefully part six it'll be running absolutely perfect, and I'll get the leg shield on, get everything on, get the chain on if it turns up, get the number plate on. Uh, which I've not got yet, and this order one, I might order that in a minute actually. Uh, black and silver number plate is going on it because it's pre 1980. Anything pre anything January 1980, pre January 1980, can have a legal black and silver number plate. I've got mirrors, I've got original mirrors, I'm really happy about them. They look they look really good. Um, it's gonna look great. So uh, yeah, thank you very much and good night.